guys I am back with another video um, this video is actually in light of my boyfriend finally joining high rise and it became quite a task of me trying to look at my phone and him looking at his phone at his own house and me trying to explain things saying oh like do you see this do you see that so I decided that I would do a complete walkthrough of high rise and what each one of the buttons do, the different options that there are. Um, the game is actually quite simple. Um, there are quite a few buttons, so we will be going through, you know, the different options that you have. This video might be quite long. Feel free to turn up the speed of the video um, to kind of go through. I'll try to also make um, timestamps on the in the uh, caption, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to navigate through the video, and hopefully get help where you need it. If you need the whole video, great. If you only need to explain a couple things, then that option will be there as well. So the first thing we're going to do is start on the farthest to the left in the room. So, we will start off right at the very top where it says rooms. So, if we click on that, this brings you to the directory. This will show you all the active rooms currently. So, there are lots of different rooms that you can join. Pick and choose which room, oops, which room you would like. Next is my rooms. So you can click on that and it shows you all of the rooms that you own as well as how to create a room. Here's the options. Type in, you know, pick what you would like, whoops, <laughs> which uh, options you would like for your room and click create. So that's how you make a room and how you join a room. The little search bar at the very, or little question, or the X, oh my goodness, magnifying glass at the top of your screen um, will show you like, you know, how to search up different rooms, whatever you want. So that is that. Next to that, you can see the, so I'm, since I'm inside my own room, I can edit my own room by clicking these, this little pencil and the ruler. So this is how I can you know, add items to my room, which I can make a video on how to do that at a later time. So I'm going to exit that. Beside that, you can see a little person and a one that shows people who are inside the room as well, as well as since it's my room, I can change the settings of my room there. Underneath rooms, you can see where it says goals. So for goals, that shows your daily challenges. So we'll click on that. I've already done them, so in 11 hours I'll get more. But basically, you'll get three daily challenges, and if you complete them, you'll get 100 bubbles per challenge that you complete. If you complete them all, then you get an additional 200 bubbles. So that's for your daily goals. Below that is crew, and this just shows all my crew information, my rooms, the bio, etc. Under that, you can see a little chat bubble and arrow that shows the room chat history. Since there's nobody talking, I'll just quickly say, hey, send, hi, send. So anybody who's chatting, it'll show inside there. The little smiley face that shows your different actions that you can do, wave, tired, etc. Then this is your dances. If you have any that you bought, you know, you can act all shy and sit, stand. Yep. So then beside that, you can see where it says energy full style challenge. So that will only be there sometimes depending on if there's an event. Um, events come every couple days. They last for a couple days. So that will sometimes be there. That's in another video. So you guys can see if I click that. This is all about the current event, which I'm not going to go into. So next is the feed. So the feed is 
pretty basic. It's similar to Facebook, or Twitter, you know, any other social media. Um, you can we'll start at the top uh, with the magnifying glass. This shows you where you can search up different users. So you can type in your friend's name or whatever and it'll bring up their profile. It shows all your recent searches and then other people who they suggest that you can check out. Beside that is hashtags. This shows all the trending hashtags um, that, you know, is on the game. Typically, they're always the same hashtags. Um, we'll close that out. Next, uh, where it says what's new, you can click that, create a bio or not a bio, a status, sorry, um, as well as if you click the little text, the little T right here, um, that will also, whoops, my bad, what the heck, there you go, if you click that T, bring up a, uh, like a status, um, you can click on the little rainbow right there, that will change the background, you can only type in, I think, 250 characters if it's a status, um, if you add a image to the picture or to the, um, to the status, then you have an, let's see, screenshot, just a random screenshot. You can type in as many characters as you would like. When you're creating a status, the more hashtags you use, the more, uh, the more publicity your status will get. Um, I'm going to cancel this one, but you can also see on the top right corner, it says share. Um, that's obviously how you post the status. Um, you can also post a video by clicking the video icon right here, which I am also not going to do. So under that, you can see suggested for you. It shows you kind of the most popping accounts. You can click see more. Basically, you will always be seeing these accounts. These are what we call the elites in the game, um, the most popular people on the app. So their account will always be shown, basically. Um, underneath that, it shows the people who you currently follow and what they're posting, similar to Facebook feed. So next, we're going to click on the inbox, which is, once again, pretty basic. Uh, shows you all your current conversations. If you click message requests, it shows you the people who are requesting to message you. Um, if you click activity, it's similar to Facebook notifications or just similar notifications. You know, who likes your picture, who's following you, who's commenting, and what's not. Beside that is GIFs where... It shows you if um, High Rise is sending you a gift where you can see the International Day of Peace gift box from High Rise, as well as your crew rewards um, and uh, your crew gift boxes, which I will quickly open. This is from my people in my crew buying gold, and in return, everybody in the crew gets, um, they get a, uh, sorry, my brain. Um, they get a reward as well if anybody in your crew buys gold from the game. Uh, you can click on this little uh, button right up here and that will create a new message to whoever you would like. So next we're going to click shop. This is pretty basic. Um, we'll start up at the, the top. This right here, this little eight, um, that is your free spin tokens. You get that from completing, I think, pretty much up to day 28 of your daily uh, streak. Um, you get a daily reward. So on day 28 of being on in a row, I believe you get, um, you get a free spin token as well as on day like 30 or something along those lines, um, you get another spin token. You can also get it easy from... Um, the fashion event, which once again, will come in another video. So beside that it shows how much gold I have. I only have 17 and beside that is how many bubbles I have. And I only have 230. If you click on that plus that will show you where you can buy gold, um, earn gold, which doesn't work right now. Other than the video, you can watch a video for like two gold or something like that. Um, the offers currently aren't offered in the game. 
beside that, bubbles. You can buy bubbles with your coins or with your gold, I mean. Beside that is vault. Um, you know, you can buy your gold, your gold bars, and you can redeem your gold bars, which I will explain in another video because it's a lot more complicated than you would think it is. So under that, you can see featured grabs. This is the chance grabs that you can get. So some of the grabs will be here always, such as the welcome grab, if you scroll down, um, the hair salons, the style, town threads, uh, cool and casual, all these ones down here, they'll always be there. Whereas these ones, you can see that there are time. So this punky pastel of darkness only has five days left. The totally 90s has two and so on and so on. Um, these are from the previous events that have happened. Um, and buying these during the event, so during the uh, Punky Pastel of Darkness event, if you bought these items, you would get boosts, which I'll go quickly up here to the Wrath. Currently the Wrath event is happening. So you can see that right here, 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 and on all the other items, those boosts will get you more tickets to get better rewards on the current event. But if the event is over, as you can see this one is, there is no boost because the event is already over. But you can still spin this for another 22 days. After the 22 days is up, you cannot spin anymore. It is done. If you want to buy any of these items, you're going to have to buy them off of somebody who has already got them and is selling them. So another thing is you can notice that some of the, um, let's actually go down to right here. Some of the grabs use gold and some of the grabs use bubbles. So gold uh, spins are tradable. So you can see if I click on this, it says this item is tradable. Whereas if I click on the bubble event and click on this, the item is not tradable. And that is because bubbles you get for free. You can get bubbles by doing multiple different things in the game, uh, placement in events, daily challenges, daily rewards, so on and so forth. Whereas with gold, you pretty much 90% of the time, actually 95% of the time, you have to pay for it. So gold gold grabs are tradable bubble grabs are not tradable and really quickly another a thing to explain real fast um as you can see there are 11 different items um available i have currently 10 of the 11 items i'm currently just trying to work on getting the wet mohawk once i get that mohawk I will be getting this item right here for free because I have 11 out of 11 of the items. So that works with every grab. Whereas you, if I click on inked up, let's see, let's say, if I collect all 13 of these, I will get this legendary item. And that that goes for every single one of these. They all have a legendary item, even the ones that are there for long, for forever. Last, oops, I guess not lastly, actually. Avatar, under that, this is where you buy um, features for your avatar. So eyes, hair, eyebrows, makeup, mouths, and noses. Um, you can scroll through these, you know, see what's available. In the featured, most of these are free, as you can see. You know, makeup, pretty much all free. Noses, pretty much all free. Um, clothing, you know, it shows you all the different, um, categories. Each one of these have their own little selection. Canada Day has all Canada stuff. Cupcakes has all these cupcake stuff. Father's Day, you know, just different Father's Day items. You can also click tops. It'll go through all the tops available, all the bottoms, dresses, accessories, shoes, Furniture is where you buy all your furniture for your room. 
Um, once again, you can click on each one of these um, categories. It'll show you International Cat Day has all cat stuff. Lookout Point has all these, you know, hippie themed items. As well as if you click seating, it'll show all the chairs, tables, all the tables, outside stuff, different decor, wall panels, blocks you can buy, floor panels, and a bunch of random stuff like doors and pictures and whatnot. Under that is cash, which is another way how to get to the um, to that little area where you can click up. Oops, up here. It is the same as clicking the cash area down here. It goes to the same place. So that's it for that. And lastly is your profile, which is once again pretty basic. Um, we'll start from the top by clicking these three dots up here. This is all your settings for your game. Uh, you can go through, you know, it shows your password information, your email information, your connected accounts to your Facebook, Twitter, and there's something else I can't remember. Whoops. Snapchat. Oh, Google, Facebook, and Snapchat. Uh, that's how you sign out. Um, your language, your audio, which I guess is kind of important, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, High Rise offers music. If you don't want to hear your music inside of a room, you can turn it off here. You can turn off sound effects as well. Uh, your notifications, you can choose which notifications you would like. Uh, and then there's guidelines, you know, questions and answers. And High Rise's social media. Next, uh, this is also a button right here. This is what your crew what your crew is, all your crew information. Uh, you got your bio right here, obviously, your avatar. Um, you have your edit profile, which will show you, you know, this is where you can type out your bio. You can choose your status, where it shows if, you know, you can choose whether you want people to see if you're online or not. Um, you can choose whether you want people to know what room you're in. Uh, you can choose whether you want your newsfeed to be private or public, and you can choose to show which country you're in or not. So that's pretty basic. Uh, edit avatar. This is where you can change your avatar and what they look like. If you click on this little clothes hanger right here, um, this is all your saved outfits. Um, to save an outfit, you just want to click on that little plus. I'm going to delete that since I already have it saved. You can click all, and this is every single item that you own. You can click shirts. It'll only show your tops, pants, shoes, hats, uh, your skin color. This is, uh, this I did not know for quite a long time, so I'm going to actually point this out. You can actually mix and match your bangs to the back of your head. So, as you can see, if I click on, let's say this you can see the front of my hair has changed my back has also changed but if i click the back of the head i can give her these big ponytails as well or straight hair or these tiny little you can change what the back of the hair looks like but you can also change what the front of the hair looks like so another example you can see this is her bangs are half half green half blonde and you can also give her these little buns or do whatever you want to her hair, which I think is a really cool feature that they added. Um, you can also change what color you want their hair to be. Um, this is all the beards and eyebrows, mustaches, stuff like that. The different eyes, noses, mouths, and random facial features. Next is posts. This is where you can post a status similar to what I showed you on the feed section. Um, this is where you can type in your status, change your color, um, add an image or a video. So that's pretty basic. Um, yours, you can also scroll up and down on your uh, posts, I guess, your feed. Uh, storefront. This is a very, 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 very important feature of High Rise. When you see people inside of rooms saying, check out, check out my SF or SF, 
sale or something like that. SF stands for storefront. So when somebody's saying, check out my SF, they're telling you to go to their profile and check their storefront. So typically when you go to somebody's storefront, there are items and these are items that they have for sale. Currently, I don't have any. I'll quickly add one. Actually, I'll just keep it whatever. So I'm going to add laced skirt. If I click on advertising newsfeed for 24 hours, it will go to the newsfeed for 24 hours. I'll click list this item and now it's in my storefront. You can add, I believe, 10 items for free and then you have to start paying with gold to, um, to add more items to your storefront. So people can click on this, press send an offer, and then you can you know, easily communicate with them about selling that item to them. Uh, rooms, this shows you all the rooms that you own, as well as you can choose to create a room or go to any of the rooms that you own. So that is pretty much it when it comes to breaking down high rise completely. Uh, the game is fantastic, though it can be a little bit confusing once you get used to it. It is very easy. Uh, so yeah, I hope that this video really helped you guys out. Sorry it's so long. Um, once again, I will put caption or timestamps in the caption of the video. And yeah, I hope this guys helped or I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Have a good day guys. Bye.